Hi everyone, welcome to On the Other Hand. I'm Ariane Zercher and I just received a huge box from one of my favorite thread companies that is based in the UK. And it is an order that I placed just a few, maybe 10 days ago. They're pretty quick. And I thought that I would unpack it and videotape the unpacking of it because it's just so much fun. So I'll turn you around and we'll start unpacking this box. Totally exciting. For my patrons, I'm going to actually demonstrate these different materials so that you can see how they look actually stitched, you know, used. For those of you who are my patrons, I'm going to be doing an extended video of this video, which is showing not just the unpacking of the threads, but also actually stitching them. Yeah. Let's get started and um, have some fun. All right, so this is my box from Steph Francis. It arrived. This, for those of you who are not familiar with it, is mulberry bark. I absolutely love this stuff. I use it all the time. I'll show you what I've used it on. This is mulberry bark. I used it here as an as the edge to this piece, which I, I just kind of love. On this piece, this is also mulberry bark, as is this. This is all mulberry bark, and so is this. This is also mulberry bark. And what I love about it, do you see how it, it just kind of it's like fabric. I mean, it just kind of scrunches up. You can stitch through it, but it's got a grain that you can stitch along and just sort of stitch right over. In this case, I just did a stitch, a uh, running stitch along using a, a silk, a spun silk thread, and then another spun silk. I put this sorry cording and couch that down. On this part of it, I'm just now starting to stitch on it, but it gets a little crusty. So there's like parts here that are sort of crusty, but you can pull it and manipulate it and stretch it. And I love that it has these kind of like a knot in a, in a tree, these holes. I just think it's fabulous. This is also mulberry bark. So I, I as you can see, I use it a lot. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So there are all the colors. Green. I think this is every color that they have. I'm pretty sure I got it. Um, maybe not the turquoise. I'm not sure why I didn't get the turquoise. Then, look at this. This is Silk Throaster. I love Silk Throaster. This is my, it's called, it looks like this, Silk Throaster's Waist. I got it in all these different colors. I use it all the time as well. So this is Silk Thruster here, right? This whole bit here. And I just use a needle punch like I would with wool roving. I punch it in. Um, oh, this is a bit of, of bark. And it blends beautifully. So this is Silk Thruster. So is this. You can stitch right on it. I used quite a bit of it here. You can see this whole area is using silk throaster. So there are my silk throasters. This is something I have not used before. It's a stranded cotton. Um, so it's a six strand cotton more typically used, I think, for cross-stitching, maybe? I, I, I don't know, because I don't do cross-stitching. But it's stranded. But I just like trying new things, and I love all their products, so I thought I'd try it. This is the Sparkle Chainette. It comes in all these fabulous colors, and as you can see, it's got metallic running through it. It's a lot of fun. I, I really love these threads, so that's that. Then there's this, which is the Silk texture selection and I bought a lot of different colorways. Uh, I had some but I didn't have all of them so I bought most of the others that I didn't have. Some of them I use a lot of so 
like these colors I end up using quite a bit. This is number 20 and number 19. I just use these colors so much, so I bought more of them. This is the Silk Pearl 5 weight. This is Pearl Silk number 3. So it's just the same, but it's thicker. And look at how luscious that is. Okay, so this is the Knitted Selection. It, this is number 17. And this is the knitted selection in number 21. I got a couple of these. I wanted to try them out. I wanted to see what, what I got in here. Um, they're all knitted uh, threads. And they're in colors that I use quite a lot of. So I figured I'll give it a shot. This is a rayon. It's called 1800 rayon. It's pretty thin. It's like, a, I mean, that's an eight weight or less. So I'm curious to see how this, I was thinking bouillon tendrils. We'll see. But aren't these colors 1800 rayon? These are fabulous colors. This is uh, the chainette, but in the sparkle chainette in um, the zero zero number. This one is the multi sparkle which is really fun. It's not beautiful. And I believe this is also a multi sparkle. And this is in color 10. Oh, this is the other chain um, uh, knitted selection. These are the colors I use the most of 20, 19, 20 and 21. And this Remember I was talking about the spun silk? There are 2.5 forward slash one spun silk. I love this thread. So I put in a bigger order for it um, because I only bought a couple of them and didn't realize that this was the thread that's in the silk texture selection that I always end up using all of it. And... Um, Oh my gosh, this is just like the most luscious, fabulous thread. It's like a three weight. It's just beautiful and it stitches beautifully. This is a high twist silk. It's thin. This is a, that's got to be an eight weight or, or less. And I've not tried it but I thought I would. Uh, this is also the high twist silk. Then there's this, which is the, it's 3600 rayon. And there are lots of different sizes. This is the 3600 rayon. Again, I was thinking bouillon tendrils might be really lovely. So I'm gonna test it out with these and see what happens. This is spun silk with flames. I just love this thread. It's got a nub to it. So there's bits of it that are like an eight weight, bits of it that are even a 12 weight, and then parts that are almost a five. So it gets very thin and then thicker and thin and thicker. And I love the variegations on it. This is of course one of my favorites. It's the texture selection. It's the regular texture selection in the most gorgeous colors. Isn't this like a candy store? Oh, it's gorgeous. This is the um, Pearl 3, the cotton, Pearl Cotton, um, well, Cotton Pearl number three weight. This is the five weight Pearl Cotton, also in colors that I run out of. This is the eight weight Pearl Cotton in colors that I've gone through and run out of. And this is the thick mercerized cotton, which I love. And it's just the ones that I've either didn't have or had used up. These, of course, I've been using almost constantly on my, um, on my latest project. And then they threw this in, which is so sweet of them. They always throw something in for me. And as thanks for sending them lots of people, 
Um, isn't it beautiful? This is their fuzzy tape. And I've used it for a lot of different things, but when you pull it apart, it's a fairly, um, not an open mesh, but it's a woven material. And then there's just the sort of fringe on it. And it just, it, it, it really is fun. You can ruche it, you can knot it, you can cord it, you know, uh, couch it. It's a lot of fun to play with. So thank you to Steph Francis for that. And then last, I got a bunch of different cocoons. So I got the Autumn, which is this one. Moorlands, which is this one. I don't remember, one is Peacock. And one is, I can't remember, but so these are the other two. So I'm going to be using cocoons and playing with those and sort of seeing what else I can do with them. They're a lot of fun. That's it. That's the, em my, my box is empty now. As I said, I have another box, uh, another order coming of the, of the spun silk in the larger, the heavier weight, the three weight, which I just can't wait to get my hands on. But stay tuned because I'm going to be using all of this in my work in the coming months. So this was so much fun and thanks for coming along while I opened up my fabulous order from Steph Francis.